it's difficult when uh, you've been competitive and, and you've been able to find ways to always get points game by game. Uh, when you come to a game like this uh, and, and you don't find anything in regards to points, then it's, it's tough. A defeat we haven't felt in a while, so um, it's painful. Um, but I think there's a lot to learn from, from this game um, that we need to make sure that we understand in order to move forward. Um, I just, I believe that uh, we play a decent match. Um, I felt that in moments, not everyone was putting the same amount of work that needed to be put in. Nevertheless, with that, we still were able to defend the majority of the time well um, and created uh, moments offensively um, to, to be able to, to bring some threat attacking ones. Um, but also, uh, there was a point in the second half in which also Alio saved us in a few moments um, and the game became too wide open. And, uh, and I felt also that uh, it was a consist consistent enough uh, for us to be able to, to get the points that we needed. And at the end of the day, when the games are like this, um, the quality of some of the players um, that, you know, specifically in Sini and Bernardeschi, you can see that they can find moments to penalize you and, and give you... Um, a difficult, a difficult situation. So overall, I think it's, it's a moment in which we have to reflect and, and uh, we don't have that many games to, to accumulate points. So we have to make sure that we're better next time. Nevertheless, I thought that in some moments we, we moved the ball, we, we worked hard uh, and, and, uh, and we could have just find more moments, moments to penalize them. But we have to just now stay positive and continue to work. Thank you, Gio. We'll open it up to questions. We'll start with Ryan Clark. Hey, Gio. Uh, what can you say about Aliaz's performance and, and the way that he has been playing in goal for the team lately? Yeah, I mentioned that um, I thought that in, in some moments he saved us um, in keeping us in the game, in providing some saves that we're now starting to get used to it. Um, and uh, He's showing his quality and why we trusted him. Um, so I thought today he he performed very well again. And uh, defensively, what are, are you noticing in terms of, of the issues that have allowed um, teams like Toronto to get into those uh, dangerous attacking spaces? Was that a product really of, of the talent on the field for Toronto? Or do you think there was something tactically that the team could have done better? No, I think partly, um, yes, the talent uh, always brings you difficult things that you need to manage. But I always um, I always thought during the game that when we manage things, uh, we manage it well, unless at some moments, maybe one step closer to um, another teammate could help uh, to keep and prevent some things from happening. I think the second goal uh, was very preventable. Um, we allow in senior to get in, in, in a good position. And again, you know, when you get those players in good position, then they, they're going to bring you some difficult uh, situations that you have to handle. Um, and then the goal that they scored the third was another situation where Bernard, Bernard, Bernardeschi coming inside, found the space, and, and, uh, and at the end we lost, you know, 3-1 uh, on a game in, in which I thought that if we would have put a little bit more of a uh, uh, a constant united effort, um, I think we, we could have gotten more uh, because when we had the ball, when we moved the ball, when we went at them, uh, we made them um, feel that in, in, in the, 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 they were not in control of the match. But um, in some moments, uh, we didn't put that consistency that allowed them to be able to find the, those moments in, in which they found the goals and, and also in which that Ivicic made some good, good saves. Um, so that's why I think a lot to learn and, and in order for us to be better next time. And in terms of attacking production, um, only one shot in the first half, obviously it was a 12 to one disparity at halftime. What can you 
attribute those uh, those challenges to in terms of producing quality chances? Yeah, I think I think uh, it was only one shot because we didn't make uh, as a you know as a unit uh, all the right movements in order for us to be in better areas because we created a lot. We found good spaces. We were a threat, but the fact that we only were able to shoot once to go um, tells you that the final moment, the final piece uh, wasn't consistent. And that is the part that we need to be better um, because it's not only about showing uh, good quality, good movement, you know, good passes. It needs to be also the final product. You know, we need to be more of a threat and even though we created chances, um, we didn't create uh, enough to put them in, in a more difficult situation. 